What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Have another fun test tonight. We've got the two Alpines here. The one on the top, the CDA9815, is the one we're going to test tonight for the distortion at one kilohertz. And we're also going to test the voltage output and see. Um, See what kind of voltage it puts out. You guys may have seen this video already with the CDA 7977. This set it had a four volt pre out, but actually had over five volt and distortion was very low. So let's check out the um, track two of the DD1, which is one kilohertz. And we walk you through what we've got going on here. Have the distortion meter set at 0.1%. So where you see one, that's 0.1. So it's 0 0.09, etc. So move the decimal over one place to the left, and um, that'll tell you. And then on this side, it'll give us the voltage on the top where it says 0 0.5. It's actually going to be 5 volts because we've got this set to the 10 volt range. So it goes from 0 volts up to 10 volts. And we'll also verify that with the O scope, and we'll just check it with a DD1. So let's check it out. here we go track two I'll try to back up here and we're going to turn this head unit all the way up until we start getting some there we go okay we're at maximum volume number 35 you can see here that we're doing just a little bit over four looks like maybe 4.2 or so volts and check out the distortion. This is even better than the other unit. That is between 0 0.02 and 0.03% THD at full output. And here's the oscope, which shows us the output is 4.24 volts RMS. Very clean signal there, as you can see. And the DD1 gives us the one kilohertz detect. Of course, it's not gonna show distortion because we're so low. This is an exceptionally clean head unit. Uh, doesn't have quite the voltage of the 7977, but the THD is lower. So that's very cool. Cool measurement. Just wanted to show you guys, I did another test of the Alpine CDA9815. Um, testing the distortion and this time I made sure that the internal amplifier the IC is what it's called was turned off and it got some interesting results as you can see we have less than 0.02 percent distortion which is gauged by here so 0.1 is at the very end so move the decimal over once to the left and uh, so less than 0.02 percent and then as for the voltage, um, you can see here, it's a little bit over four. I've got the fluke hooked up. It's like 4.25 volts RMS output at less than 0.02% distortion. Again, that's with the power IC turned off. Just a neat test here with this new Panasonic VP7704P. This is going to be a useful tool for the old school stereo labs. The only drawback is 400 hertz or one kilohertz. We don't have a lower frequency range for the mono block amplifiers, but anyway, we'll use it for what we can. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Big D Wiz, oldschoolstereo.com. Until next time, I'm out of here.